Barnes with a group of schoolgirls from London. She'd first met them on a visit here two years ago, but today she met them in Oxford, where she encouraged them to aim for a top university, as she had done by winning places at Princeton and Harvard. Razia Iqbal reports on the First Lady's Day. The First Lady is as much of a star draw as her husband. The audience here may not be as big or as grand as at Westminster Hall, but for Michelle Obama, it is just as important. I want to recognize uh, these brilliant young women from the Elizabeth Garrett Anderson School. And it may not seem that way on the surface, but Michelle Obama sees herself in these girls. I felt this strong sense of connection uh, with all of you. Because in your stories, uh, I saw so much of my own story. And I knew that I wanted to visit with all of you in a place like this. Look around. I mean, just look at this. All of us believe that you belong here, that this is a place for you as well. The message is about dreaming big and aiming high, as she did. Princeton, Harvard and top lawyer. And being mom in chief is right up there. The most important thing to me is raising strong women and raising my daughters well, um, probably because that's what my mother did for me. I push my girls, uh, and, but more importantly, I love them a lot. Um, and that's what I feel for all of you. I want you guys to feel that in your lives so that you can be excellent, okay? And then it was almost time to say goodbye. Michelle Obama has often pointed to her own humble origins growing up on the south side of Chicago as a potent example of how, regardless of background, high achievement is always possible. And with her commitment to education, she's inspired many young people with a single comment. It's cool to be smart. For some, this was their second meeting with the First Lady. It was exciting then, but it was definitely more exciting now because being in Oxford and also getting to hug her as well. Michelle Obama wants these girls to have more than just a day trip to Oxford. They are smitten by her faith in them. Inspirational. Memorable. Perfect. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Razia Iqbal, BBC News, Oxford. Now the rest I would like from here to invite everyone to have a look at Nahjul Balagha, which is available, just click it on your computer. Nahjul Balagha, N A H J U L, then Balagha, B A L A G H A, and then you have a look and read and see the great oceans of light that Ali ibn Abi Talib can guide us and all the human beings. I would like also to appreciate the effort of giving the awards of Ahl al-Bayt. We, the followers of Ahl al-Bayt, are one family, in fact. And this family should be always cooperating with each other. And these awards should encourage our people to do more. In fact, the real followers of Ahl al-Bayt are best in every field best in knowledge, best in service, best in behavior, best in character, best in every dimension. That is the real criteria of the followers of Ahlul Bayt, alayhum salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you.